Five interesting facts from aircraft general knowledge. Let's go. Fact number one. Aircraft tires can be retreaded. Aircraft tires, like car tires, have a tread pattern specific to the most likely conditions the tire will face on a day-to-day -day basis and to increase the contact of the tire with the runway surface, for example when the runway is wet. Now, this profile of course gets worn off after a while, but instead of replacing the entire tire, uh, it can be, the profile can be retread, which saves quite a bit of money. And as a little bonus fact, aircraft tires get inflated using nitrogen, which reduces the risk of fire and explosion. Fact number two, waste bins in aircraft lavatories have to be equipped with an automatic fire extinguishing system. According to CS25, which is applicable for airplanes with 20 seats or more, lavatories must be equipped with a built-in fire extinguisher for each disposable receptacle for towels, paper or waste and must discharge automatically when heat from a fire is detected. But why is it not a simple smoke detector? Well, imagine this, a person smokes illegally in the lavatory. The smoke sets off the automatic fire extinguisher, which startles the person, and the cigarette, the lit cigarette, gets disposed of in the trash. And that causes a proper fire, but now there's no automatic fire extinguisher left to fight the fire. Pretty smart, no? That's why it's also still mandatory to have an ashtray in every lavatory because a cigarette disposed in there at least won't cause a fire. Fact number three. Aircraft have an anti-skid system. Now, this might not be so surprising since all modern cars feature a similar system, but large airplanes also use anti-skid to increase braking performance, especially on wet runways. An inoperative anti-skid system would increase the braking distance dramatically, so there would be additional weight limitations for arrival and departure. Fact number four. Cabin pressurization is controlled by changing the outflow of air. In a typical pressurization system, the volume of air entering the cabin from the compressors of the turbine engine is actually constant. So in order to change the pressurization, all you can control is how much air escapes the cabin again. This is done by controlling the so-called outflow valves. And whilst they can be operated manually, on most aircraft in normal operations, it is all done automatically. And they're like little doors in the side of the fuselage that can open up and close depending on what you need. Fact number five. Each engine has two independent fire extinguishers. Now these may be shared between engines however, so some two engine jets only have two so-called squibs but the general idea is that you have two chances of putting out a fire in an engine. There's usually a waiting period between firing the agents to see if the fire is still burning. And the most commonly used agent is halon, which inhibits the flames very effectively. And that's it for today. Five interesting facts from AGK. I hope you enjoyed and as usual, if you have any feedback or questions, leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.